Okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about the six types or classes of enzymes. And the reason why really is to just allow you to, basically when you see an enzyme and its name to kind of get an idea of how that enzyme actually functions. Okay, it's really, really helpful to keep all this stuff in mind. Okay, so first enzyme class is uh, oxidoreductase. So oxidoreductases, the reactions they catalyze are oxidation reduction reactions or redox reactions. So the name actually tells you a lot there. Oxidoreductase, oxidation reduction. Um, so they catalyze electron transfers. Of course, that's what redox reactions are. And I, I put often with H here because basically when it comes to redox reactions and biochemistry, it's tough to kind of see where the, the electrons are going. So it's easier to track the hydrogens. The gain of hydrogens or the gain of bonds to hydrogen is a reduction and the loss of bonds to hydrogen is an oxidation. So that's typically what to keep in mind. So an example here of uh, lactate dehydrogenase turning pyruvate into lactate and this reaction is reversible. But uh, we can see here that the key difference between these two molecules is right here. We have a carbonyl there, whereas here we have an alcohol. And uh, basically we gained two hydrogens going from pyruvate to lactate. So pyruvate was reduced because it got these two hydrogens attached to it to be turned into lactate. And since pyruvate was reduced, NADH lost its hydrogen and therefore was oxidized. So that's a redox reaction there. And it's catalyzed by a dehydrogenase or dehydrogenase. Uh, I, don't, I typically pronounce it dehydrogenase. Um, but if you see a dehydrogenase, you should associate that with redox reactions. So here, um, this, act, this, this um, enzyme was named for the reverse reaction. But the point is that if you see dehydrogenase, you should associate that with redox reactions. Okay. So a lot of um, oxidoreductases will have that. They'll, they'll be called dehydrogenases, like lactate dehydrogenase, which just shows up in fermentation. You also might come across oxidases like lysyl oxidase, and that should make sense. You have an oxidation occurring. Uh, lysyl oxidase shows up in collagen synthesis. Um, HMG-CoA reductase, so that's a, a reduction reaction. Um, and uh, that that's that enzyme is uh, the catalyzes the rate limiting step of uh, cholesterol synthesis. Okay, so the point is though, if, if you see a dehydrogenase, an oxidase, or a reductase, there's a redox reaction happening, and that's something to pay attention to. Okay. All right, so next up, transferases. So transferases, they transfer functional groups. They catalyze functional group transfer. So literally telling you exactly what it does, okay? Let the names kind of speak to you. So it could transfer an amino group, acetyl group, methyl group, really any functional group, okay? And so here, we have a transamination reaction catalyzed by a transaminase. The trans in it should tell you that it's transferring something. Um, in fact, it's here, it's telling you it's transferring an amino group. Uh, or amino transferase, um, and it's acting with alanine, alanine being the amino acid here. So specifically what's happening here is that we're starting off with uh, pyruvate and glutamate, and what's happening is that pyruvate uh, has this carbonyl group and glutamate has this amino group. Basically, glutamate is gonna give its amino group in this hydrogen to pyruvate, and pyruvate is gonna give its carbonyl group to, to glutamate. And so what ends up happening is that glutamate gets turned into alpha-ketoglutarate right there. It's got the, the ketone and um, the pyruvate now has that amino group. The whole idea was that we simply transferred that amino group, okay? Um, in this reaction, PLP is your pyridoxal phosphate is used as a cofactor. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, the point is that amino transferases transfer amino groups. They're also called transaminations. You see a lot of that in a lot of those in nitrogen metabolism. And that should make sense. Amino groups have nitrogens in them. Um, hexokinases, um, it's, it's not explicitly mentioned as transferase, but these guys specifically um, add phosphate groups from ATP or GTP. Um, and hexokinase shows up in glycolysis. Polymerase, DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase, they uh, transfer nucleoside triphosphates or deoxynucleoside triphosphates. Um, methyl transferases, transfer methyl groups. Okay. And they're all over the place, methyl transferases.